I'm Jonas Schoenberg and I'm a professional triathlete. Every day I'm driven by my passion to get better than the day before. I'm motivated by my goals and try to be better every day. Uh, I think you have only one life, so my full philosophy of, of the life is having fun and enjoy it. And I think you, you, you need to enjoy every day. That, that's uh, what I try to do, enjoying life, having fun and if you're not happy, it's not uh, the right for you, so happiness is key. Normally I'm not a morning person, so I try to prepare my training sessions, starting with the run with the coffee and I'll stretch, maybe some black roll and then go for easy jog. The first 15 minutes is normally pretty easy and then we start with the sessions. You can say I'm pretty coffee lover, so I'm here now training in Girona. It's a place for cycling and coffee, so the place to be for me. And I'm having like, I don't know, I don't count the coffees before a session, after a session, before a nap, after a nap. I think uh, it helps me to keep me through the sessions and through my training. Nothing beats a good coffee. I think preparation is key for the Super League for uh, to be successful, you know, it's like uh, the speed, uh, the fitness, and everything comes together. The transitions, so it's a bit different than uh, normal racing and triathlon, like the Olympic distance. But it keeps uh, everything uh, more fun. You know? I like to push myself on the run, especially when I'm getting in the zone, like. In a certain pace, the start when I'm really fast and it's easy and it's like in the flow. And then that's especially, uh, you can call it the flow when I'm it's like passing everything and it's really easy and you feel like I'm running on clouds. And that's uh, a super feeling. Normally I'm swimming like uh, five times a week or six times uh, just to get a feeling and around about 25, 30 k's a week and yeah that's what I'm doing actually most of the year so it's always 25 k's and just before a race maybe we go a bit down to 20 k. We spend some time just to form the warm-up, we do a warm-up, then we do some uh, technical drills like uh, we call it petit chien, the, the small dog. It's like swimming like this and just for the feeling and I think it helps just to get the feeling from the water and then we do the main set and so I think actually every session has some kind of drills. Uh, yeah, the swimming is probably one of my strength, especially the start. I've got the speed, I'm tall, long arms and then uh, I'm probably after 100 meters I'm in the front or in the top 10 and uh, that's always nice uh, but I should stay work hard like all the other guys and of course you can lose the feeling for the swimming pretty quick. The bike training is actually my, my, my favorite part of the training. It's, I love riding my bike, especially here in Girona. I think the roads are amazing, love the mountains and uh, I can ride every day. We 
trying to uh, looking always over our power because that's the way you can see how much effort you go. Uh, sometimes also the heart rate, but not on the easy rides. The crucial part is the power. I race uh, actually almost without looking on my Garmin. Uh, maybe afterwards you can see what you've done, how much power did you put in, but I think it's when you're racing, it's race on and you have to switch off the, sometimes the Garmin. I love going hard on the bike, doing something, trying something on the breakaway and you see just the, the motor the bike in front of you, the cameraman and then uh, it's game on and I think uh, I like trying something, uh, doing the breakaway and it's like in the flow, everything is you can go the cornering hard and uh, it's just an amazing feeling. First, after the session, when I'm coming home, I'm just having like a little snack or something, eating something, and then take a shower. And recovery is key between the sessions. So, uh, as you say, the open window, 50 minutes between the session, is important to get something in. And then uh, I think try to do not too much between the sessions when it's a hard day, when you're training a lot. So just to watch your recovery between sessions. Normally I'm having, a, sitting on the couch or lying on the couch and having a power nap. I'm having two power naps a day and I think sleeping is the best. So I'm having a sleeping, I'm, I'm known for sleeping everywhere. So I'm sleeping two times one hour a day and then another 10 hours in the night so I'm just uh, I love sleeping yeah uh, Super League is fun you know it's fast racing uh, the transitions it's swim bike run different formats and I think you need to super good fitness for uh, Super League, uh, doing one race and then you have 10, min 10 minutes break for the, to get ready for the next one. And if you're not having the fitness, it's, uh, it's super hard. Yeah, super League is super fun to watch because it's uh, fun, fast racing and it's super hard. You can see all the emotions in the, in the pain, the, in the faces, the transitions and it's just happening so much in a short time. I think uh, everyone loves Super League. I love triathlon, it's like uh, my passion, being outside, especially here in Girona, it's like uh, for the training, like riding. I love riding and exploring the gravel, uh, everything. Yeah. Um, it's hard to describe myself uh, as an athlete. I don't uh, know, but I'm always like having fun on the races. I try to play my, with my tactics, and I think also don't show the, the fear in the racing. So, so I'm just going for it, and sometimes too fast, and I will explode like uh, after two k's on the run, but. Uh, I just go having fun in the races. I feel like I'm not working, so it's, it's, it's actually a job and I can pay the bills with triathlon and I didn't believe it, but I think the last two years it showed me like there's potential and uh, I can live from triathlon and that, that's like a dream. Make sure to subscribe our channels and never miss out the pro action.